why would these children shoot at somebody and don't know them? Now at 11, targeting violence, a random shooting left her two grandsons scarred for life. But a Cleveland woman says the emotional scars will never heal unless a senseless violence stops. Hear her emotional plea. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Flanagan. I'm Danita Harris. City officials say enough is enough. The city of Cleveland is plagued by too much violence, and they say they have a plan to fix it. News Channel 5's Kristen Vogue joins us tonight. And Kristen, what is the plan? Well, Danita, Cleveland, Cleveland police say that they that the plan calls for Cleveland police to stop, question, and frisk people randomly. It also calls for businesses, hospitals, and community organizations to come together to talk about the ramifications of violence, how it affects everyone and their wallets. Now, they're just recommendations for now, but for the Irwin family, it's a small step in hopes of turning around a big problem that has devastated them. His name is Don Irwin. Gwendolyn Irwin Blackwell keeps this small photo album tucked away. Its contents are often too hard to look at. There's a memorial card of her brother Don, fatally shot in Cleveland four years ago. A photo of her niece, stabbed to death in Cleveland. I do not want anybody that I love to be hurt. Especially for nothing. This weekend, she got the scare of her life again when she thought she may have to add her two grandsons and her step grandson to this album. I feel uh, um, a lot of pain. The whole time I was just thinking, like, I don't want to die. 16 year old Lawan Irwin Jr. didn't want to show his face on camera, but this large bandage on the back of his right thigh is accompanied by a disturbing story. I was thinking, like, I don't know how I could get shot. I was just about to go have some fun. Lawan says he was headed to the Family Unity Festival Saturday afternoon on Cleveland's east side. He was with his brother and stepbrother, both 13 years old. When they stopped to wait for a friend at East 117th and Luke Avenue, he says he heard at least 15 gunshots ring out behind him. That's when I felt my legs start stinging. Like, it felt like somebody hit me like with a real big rock or something. All three of them got hit by gunfire. We got to get these guns out of the hands of individuals that believe that we solve conflicts by violence. Cleveland Councilman Zach Reed is spearheading the city's anti violence plan. Cleveland is the seventh worst city in the nation for gun violence, and Reed says it's the number one problem locally, wreaking havoc on too many lives here. It's senseless. I promise you, it is senseless. All three boys are out of the hospital and recovering. The family tells us those suspects are still on the loose. On your side in Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5. Kristen